Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh, the part behind me just fell. I am this part of us. This is gonna be a big pile of regret. <laughs> so if you've watched my previous TBR tour, which I'll link up here, maybe? I did the first video for all the books that I bought full price. I don't buy a lot of books full price because I am unemployed, recently not a student, and stingy. Uh, <laughs> just to be honest. So um, these are all the books that I bought discounted. So a couple of these have been like majorly discounted in a normal British bookshop, Dewey Smiths. Um, but the rest of them I bought in The Works, which is a discount shop that we have here in the UK. And in terms of books, they sell books for £2 each or three for £5. £5 is a bit under $5. No, a bit over $5, sorry. And I ended up buying a lot of sets and things like that that I still haven't gotten through. So this is kind of motivation to make me read them. Because, <laughs> oh boy, I need to get through these. So let's start with the obvious that you may or may not have seen in the thumbnail. God knows how that turned out. And that is... The Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. I've actually read City of Bones, but I have yet to read City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, or City of Heavenly Fire. I've owned this for like three years. And then like two, three years after I bought that, I bought the Infernal Devices trilogy. So Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess. I haven't read this because I haven't read them. This is the same as the last video where I don't know why I haven't read most of these. Let's stick with complete series that I have. And next up is the Not In Order, Noughts and Crosses series by Mallory Blackman. I have actually read these, they technically don't need to be on my TBR, but I read them when I was about 10. I'm now 23. I think it's time for me to reread them, and also I will miss I will have missed a lot of the nuances in these books. So and like look at how oh I've got to hold them. Oh no. Look at how pretty the covers are. They're so cute. The reason I haven't read these is because they're not high up on my list because I have read it before. And then the last complete series, I believe, is the Young Elite series by Marie Lu. Oh, I should have went through all the books. So there's Knots and Crosses, Checkmate, Knife's Edge, and Double Crossed. Come back here, you piece of shit. <laughs> then the last complete series I have is the Young Elite series by Marie Lu. So that is the Young Elites, the Rose Society, and the Midnight Star. I actually got this because I got another series by Marie Lu and I enjoyed the first book I read of it. There is no real reason that I haven't read these and now that I'm a lot more into fantasy than I was, I've realised that I love fantasy. So I'll be coming back to these a lot sooner, fingers crossed. Now for the incomplete, 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 I don't fucking know, series is some of them are because I've read them, some of them are because I don't own all of them. So for the ones that I've read them, I've got Marie Lu's Legend series. I've read Legend, then it's Champion, and then it's Prodigy, I believe. Another one where I've read the first book is the Kane Chronicles. So I've read, what is it called? The Red Pyramid, and I need to read The Throne of Fire and The Serpent's Shadow. Yes, that's what it's called. And then the last series, one of the books shouldn't be on this list, but let me explain. So we have Reckoning by Kerry Wilkinson that I just picked up because it sounded cool and then I saw in a charity shop Renegade which is book two so that's why it's here just because it's a series. Then as often happens in the works at least from what I've heard from friends I bought the second book in a series without realizing it was the second book in the series. This is some sort of like police a shadow police novel that's what it is and i don't have the first one but it sounds really cool something about jack the ripper uh is back from the dead i think london falling is the first book so i need to read that on my e-reader or buy a physical copy before i can read this one which is why it's unread i've bought the entire red queen series apart this just fell against my back apart from um the cruel crown i believe off of the works I've managed to get the entire series in a matching paperback at different times. It was great. Uh, so the only one I have left to read now is Warstorm. And I didn't get Cruel Prince because Alex from Alex Black Reads bought it for me. Thank you. Then we've got some classics. So the works sells these uh, Wordsworth editions of classics 
for they're cheap anyway not just at the works if you buy them I think they're just two pounds anyway and it's to make the classics more accessible to people which I love so I've gotten 60 pages into War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy and I've been 60 pages in for about four years now shut up and then I also have Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen, The Three Musketeers by Alexander, Alexandre Dumas, and Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde with The Merry Men and Other Stories by R.L. Stevenson. I also got um, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. I love that book, so I've already read that one. I do not know when I will be reading these. Oh, fuck. And then the last two books are big. So. Oh. Yeah. First up is, well they're both non-fiction. So this is the Encyclopedia of Doctor Who. I'm saying non-fiction because this tells you all about the different episodes. It is like um, all alphabetized and just like listing things in alphabetical order, which is factual because it's from the series, but then it's also a non-fiction, a fiction series, a science fiction series. So I never know where to put books like this. Um, the reason that it hasn't been read is because it's literally like a Doctor Who dictionary. So I will read it, I will go through it cover to cover, but it's just not high up on the list when I have other actual books that I want to read. So this is clearly a different filming setup. I forgot to film these at the time, but I got these in a discount store in the US, um, and that is Kathy's Key and Kathy's Ring by Stuart Wiseman and Brig. I don't see their first names on here anyway anyway anywhere the reason I haven't read these yet is because these don't include the first book I bought these a long while ago before I even had a smartphone so I couldn't look up on Goodreads and I was in the US anyway so how, how was I meant to use data so I didn't know that these weren't the first book in the series I got them because they're multimedia sort of things with lots of doodles and stuff inside and I do really want to read them like I really want to get through them but I need to buy the first one I can't remember what it's called, Kathy's something. I'll put it on screen. It's in my Amazon wish list, but does that mean I'm gonna buy it anytime soon? No? No, it does not. Back to your regular scheduled viewing. And then the very last one, it says how much it was on the front. It's Wonders of the Solar System and the Universe by Professor Brian Cox and Andrew Cohen. This, as you can see, I got for six pounds. It was meant to be 50. Would not have paid 50. The main reason I haven't read this one yet is because it's actually a, it says at the top here, based on a BBC programme, there's actually a TV programme that goes along with it and I kind of want to read it and watch it along with it. But yes, this is the last book. So it didn't actually take too long to go through the 30 odd, I can't remember what I said, books that I have. Um, um, move. Not that much. Yes, I'm in my joggers. Uh, but it, it takes up a... Move. Decent amount of space on my shelves. <laughs> I mean, there are various different reasons I haven't read certain ones. The two big ones are because they're chonky. No, it's actually not because they're chonky, it's because of the kind of nature of them. Um, the Cassandra Clare I've been putting off. I enjoyed the first one, but in like a cheesy way, in the same way that like Twilight is trash. I enjoyed The City of Bones, but I'm gonna keep trying because I do own. I also own the, what is it, the Dark Artifices, the trilogy of that. Why? I don't know, but I saw them in a charity shop and picked them up. What's wrong with me? Um, why do I own so many Cassandra Clare books when I was like fine with the first one? God knows. The classics are just because they big and the rest of them I have no real excuse. If you fucking fall I'll be pissed, thank you. So these are, I'm not piling them back up again. With the last one I was like, oh I can hold them up for the end of the video. And I'm not fucking holding them. So these are all the books that I bought at a discounted price from, mainly from a discount shop, that I have yet to read. This was the next smallest. The next one is the books that I got second hand, which is like 80, and then books that I was gifted by family and friends, which is like 60. Because there are a lot of books from years ago that I have not read yet. I was busy, too busy to read them at the time, just with education, and then I am less interested in them now. If any of the classics are easy reads, let me know. 
Um, also, I mean, I read Legend and really enjoyed it, so I really should read more of Marie Lou. And I only just recently finished King's Cage, as I'm filming this at least. So I left like a year and a bit between King's, um, Blast Sword and King's Cage. So Warstorm probably won't be overly soon. It's also big. What pages is it? It's like 600 pages. Uh, but yes, this is my second edition of my TBR tour series. I am not looking forward to filming the third one. <laughs> it's it's going to be interesting. And now I have to put these all back. Now I have to put these all back. Shit. Thank you so much for watching, guys. <laughs> Subscribe if you've reached this point because you watched all of this. Seriously, just fucking subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. I don't want to fucking clean this. Why?